Hello and welcome to today's 15 minute gamer. Today we're going to have another look at Euro Truck Simulator 2 because it seems to be my most popular video. Uh, I've had a request to the drive through Durham so I'm going to do that. Um, also going to show you a few more of the features because uh, last time I really just crashed and that was about it. I'm in the quick job offer section here as you can see. I've uh, picked Newcastle because I've been requested to drive through Durham if it's there. I'm not really sure it is. We'll give it a try anyway. Um, yeah, so on here is your jobs you can do from Newcastle at this point in time. Uh, when the days change, you get different jobs. So as you can see, tomatoes, diggers, diggers, and flour. Uh, these are going to Rotterdam, and they're going to Amsterdam. Uh, Amsterdam is straight from the ferry, strange enough, to there. It says it's 380 miles, 18 hours. It's not going to be, uh, which I am going to do. It's an important delivery. Uh, we will pick them diggers up, don't worry. Right, let's crack into it. My joypad is now completely set up for this, so it should work perfectly. Uh, so we're going to do a quick detour to find Durham, uh, which is just below Newcastle for those who don't know. And then we'll drive on the ferry, drive across to Amsterdam. I'm pretty much sorted. It shouldn't take long. It says 18 hours, uh, time on the ferry does skip. Uh, I'm not overly sure how long this video will take. We're going to crack it and just see what happens. This, I will have to load up the truck, I believe. When it loads up, here yeah, we'll go. Look, I've got my digger on already. It's fantastic. If we go to a different view. I have this set up so now I have hazards on my dry pad, I have my indicator set up, I have lights, isn't that good, and a horn, beep, and it looks like there's some roofs open there which isn't good on top of my truck. Uh, there's me load, uh, I don't want to be dropping my load anywhere, it looks pretty secure. Uh, we'll crack on, see if we can find Durham, uh, it's just the south. And then we'll go to the ferry terminal and you can see what happens. Uh, I've got a lot more money this time because this is my own safe. Uh, it's our 37,000 um, credit uh, euros, in fact, which is handy. So we'll just crack on. I don't want to break my truck. Uh, cabin's very, very dark. It is true to time. I don't know what time it's set at. Um, it's currently 22.47. Let's stop. Look both ways. Indicates go drive properly this time. I didn't say steering wheel moves brilliantly. Right, the first thing I hope I can find Durham. Oh no, I'm going lights on. Oh, second, well, no, in hazards. There we go. <laughs> That's absolutely brilliant. I was getting worried. As you see, little sat nav shows you places you do have to rest every so often, so you will have to rest after a few hours. Uh, which is F6, I believe. Yes, yeah, so I've got 10 hours until my next rest stop. This is 30. Don't want to get caught speeding. Um, do you have to get petrol in the game when you run your own truck company? Uh, the prices do seem a little bit extortionate, but for the way it's going, let's get these wipers off and that's me hazards. There we go, that's off. And put the sun back on. So once we come through here, we should uh, land on the motorway. Um, we'll do a quick. How fast am I going? 37. Slow, 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 slow. Right, let's keep this lane. I'm trying to do this one properly. Don't know why it keeps seem to be going off. Uh, I've got the left stick is steering, uh, the right stick is looking around. So you can see uh, this time we're driving a Valiant truck, I think, uh, which was pointed out as another version of Mercedes. Uh, as you can see, it's a star. Mercedes a star, so I'm guessing that's right. Stay on track, don't crash. Seems to be uh, this one a bit. Right. Uh, Sheffield, Manchester, Edinburgh, Glasgow. We're going to go south a little bit. Going to ignore Satnav. I hope I can get turned around. In the hope we can find Durham. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Took that way bad. See the damage. <laughs> uh, that's why I don't take things too fast. Let's see if we can get out this mess. Oh, I've knocked the sign over. No, can't cut you before I get arrested. Go, go, go. Leave the scene of the crime. Brilliant. 
that didn't quite go as I expected it to go. It's a little bit worrying. Uh, I think the truck's probably damaged now. So we're coming up onto the A1 by the looks of it. Once we get round, because I'm pulling the trailer, as you can see from my last video, I was zooming around. Uh, well, if trucks could zoom around, uh, indicate and just pull out anyway. On the A1, on the A1, fantastic, that's what I wanted. Don't know why my pad seems to be pulling it to the right all the time. It's a little bit annoying. Straighten it up, there we go. Services. So services is where you get sleep and petrol. This truck is handling so badly, I don't know what I've done to it. Stop it. No, right. It's just pulling off. Well, uh, so there you go. There's the petrol station. Uh, you park up to the side there, and you can sleep it off. Let's skip a few hours. Yeah, I feel like I'm uh, driving this very badly. Uh, possibly a drunk driver. By the way, looks like it's going. Now we've hit the A1. I have a feel no. There's going to be no turn off for Durham. We'll keep driving a little bit though before we swing back round. Um, if we can swing back round is going to be the question because I have took the wrong turn before and I had to drive oops, sorry car oh, no I'm not usually this bad I wonder if the sensitivity is turned up a tiny bit let's have a look gameplay uh, I'm guessing so no, let's put lots of rain on. Shall we? Steer note centre. Yes, that doesn't seem to be working at the moment. Use miles. Great. Steer and sensitivity. That doesn't really seem. Uh, oh, it's set the wheel. That's why. That would explain a lot. So let's exit out of here and hopefully I can now drive. Oh, that is much better. Look at this driving, ladies and gentlemen. Right, let's all take a truck. The indicator noises. Um, and you see my mirror, it does light up the road, which I think is quite a good feature. Lights. Not windscreen. Off. Oh. Should I try driving in the dark? I don't think it's going to work. Uh, I can't see what I'm doing. I've got my side lights on. That's not going to help. There we go. No! Oh, 550 euros for speeding. I was in the dark, so I don't know what caught me. Um, and now it's raining, so I put my wipers on. Look, okay, has it. There is something strangely I like driving at night. Uh, something, something nice about it. Um, there's definitely no Durham here, cause the next city we're gonna hit is. It's not going that far, and because I've been playing for sat nav, you should never play for sat nav and drive. Uh, remember, once you start your sat nav up, it does tell you that. Because this is why. Uh, the cars in the game, I didn't show them off last time. They are based loosely on real world cars. Uh, they do look like them as well. Obviously, just that was a Jaguar. Uh, it's just been changed a tiny bit. You can do car transport missions like that. Everyone else seems to be sticking to the rules of the road. 60 miles an hour. I believe I haven't came across anything to tell me it's not 60 miles an hour. In night time, you'll tend to find the only things on the road are trucks. As normal, if you drove at night, uh, it does tend to be full of them. Uh, let's try driving on different view. No, 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 not that one. Not that one. That one will do. I like I like my little truck. Oh, I selected right-hand drive because I'm driving over here so you can when you buy a new truck to left hand drive whatever to go for it um, it's probably not worth it I'm sure it doesn't make too much difference and hopefully I can turn around down here because this has added a lot of time to my journey tell you what in fact uh, so we've been on this road for how long would you say about 
five, ten minutes and reached another major town. So that shows how much it does skip, I suppose. Which is good because you can drive from one end of Europe to the other. Takes about, I've seen videos, it does take about an hour and a half to do it. We'll, uh, we'll keep going, we'll keep going, see what we come across. To drive from uh, top of Scotland to the other end of Europe. Don't know why you would. Uh, there is something nice about it though. Look, you got all the little features you can look around. No, that's crashing, that's crashing. Oh, stop. Look, that owned that. He has more roadworks going on. Services, let's get some petrol. Should slow down after what happened last time. To get petrol, you pull up towards the pump. And when you get there, like so, your sat nav will change. So it's saying that it's 159 uh, for diesel. Uh, I've got to stop the engine before it let me fill. Press enter. It was 1.26 litres. Oh no, yeah, it goes. We're filling, we're filling, we're filling. My god, how much truck does this put in? I had no petrol, strangely enough, by the looks of it. Yeah, I think that's enough. I'm happy with that. Uh, this is called Bilkin. I uh, haven't paid for it. I'm going to now run away. Oh, they're covered by your employer. I love your employer. That's brilliant. Since I wasn't supposed to go this way, I guess that's why I ran out of petrol. Um, but we can look out the window. Whoa. See? And you're sticking your head out. You should never try and drive like this in the real world. Um, it can only end in tears. Like so, yeah, seem to be in a bit of a mess there. I'm gonna reverse it. There we go. I knew, I knew I'd get out of there. Same sunroof is definitely open. Oh no, 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 it's even some reflection. Expert driving there. Expert driving. Let's get back on the road. I'm going to restart this in a minute. Uh, Durham plainly wasn't there, unfortunately. Uh, I do apologise massively for that. Uh, but it still makes a good little video. Let's get back. Let's. Um, I presume I'm not going to get penalised for not doing that. Don't think so. Let's take some. No, I want the closest one. There we go. Right. Whoa, penalty fee, 12,000. That is not happening. And I'm miles away from my destination. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to get over this. I don't think I can do it. While we're in here, I'll show you some of the other features which I couldn't show you before. Uh, this is me. I'm a newbie. I uh, look quite nice. I've driven 1,650 miles. My rating is 0.8. This is my truck that I've bought. I have to pay this with money. You have to go to truck dealerships. Click on there. Shows you where you found. I found a one in uh, Frankfurt. There is all dotted. When you're driving around, you go around, you can buy online or you can set your dealer. You can borrow money from the bank. I've borrowed £100,000 to buy this truck. They're not cheap. You get emails. Uh, we're overdrawn. It's not good. Overdraft settled. See, there you go. I'm quite good with money. Uh, they do offer off here, uh, look, 7,000 euros per job, which isn't bad. You could go to the recruitment agency and you can have a fleet of trucks running around after you, uh, pick some drivers, pick some trucks, uh, they'll all go around and earn you lots and lots of money. Haven't got that far yet. Um, I don't think I found a recruitment agency. Yes, I have. Isn't that good? Hire a driver. Let's see what these look like. Oh, so I have to buy a new garage. These are drivers I could have. Uh, Sophie uh, looks a little bit like that fat one from you sent us. Can't even remember. Sonia, that's our name. Uh, Luca, yeah, he's good. Jeff, classic name. Um, these are what they can haul. Uh, you do upgrade these as you play. So I can haul different things. These people can't. Uh, when you get them, I, I don't know. Maybe you can upgrade them. Does say you're right in there. I'm sure they'll get better. Will I trust him with explosives? Probably not. It does look a little bit dodgy. And that's it. Um, 
that is a little bit more of this game, showing you some more of the features. Um, you know, rain effects, they're quite good. I've just stuffed them with the A1. The guy's hands do move when you steer and look at that. So there is a guy there. Oops, no, we're in opposite. If you want to detach a trailer. Oh, radio steam, don't want that. Uh, when you get to your destination, you have to reverse your truck up, which I can't begin to tell you how hard that is. And uh, I'll show you that in another video. Pull back. Some cause some mayhem, eh? Let's cause some mayhem. I was going to try and cross on the other side of the road. Looks like there's a barrier there. Um, not to fully safety rules and regulations these days. Looks like the next town is a bit further down. Um, and then we'll come across it. It's national speed limit, of course, on dual carriages in England is 60 miles an hour, according to this. Um, not sure when the A1 has ever been 60 miles an hour. I wish it was this quiet every time I drove down it. It's not. But I'm trucking. Um, the unrealistic side of things, you can't get a prostitute in every city, which uh, most truckers do have. I am also concerned I'm going to get charged £12,000 for failing this mission, which is a bit of a killer. Wow, that just died. Um, yeah, there's not much to explore off-road, as you can see. I seem to be stuck again. The game did not like that. Oh, we're back. I thought it would crash there. Right, that's um, that's a bit more of your truck simulator. I apologise for not finding Durham. It's obviously not there. Any more requests, feel free. Um, I will do a mission in the next one. Uh, to show you what it's like. I'm causing traffic chaos. I'm going to put my hazards on. And end the video there. Thank you for watching. Uh, it's been another 15 minute gamer. If you enjoyed, please subscribe. Thank you. Bye.